Hey, it's Jeff Summers with What You Know, and today is going to be a really special video because I've got two iconic watches that we're comparing to see what is better. Is it the Timex T80 or is it the Casio A168? Let's not waste any more time and find out. Let's get right into it. These watches are both a throwback to the 1980s, when big hair and Rubik's cubes were all the rage. The T80 is Timex's homage to their digital watches from the 1980s. Now Casio launched the iconic A168 in the late 80s and is really the more iconic watch of the two. They're both excellent watches, but which one is better? Let's find out. I'm reviewing both watches in gold tone. The A168 and the T80 are offered in several other versions, but to me, the gold is what I like best. So on to the comparison and please don't beat me up too much in the comments because a lot of this is my opinion and that's what a review is an opinion. Size. Both of these watches are really small. If you have a very large wrist, these watches may not look good on you. The Casio has diameter dimensions of 36 millimeters by 38 millimeters, and it's 10 millimeters thick. The Timex is 34 millimeters by 41 millimeters, and is also 10 millimeters thick. I like the more square look on the Timex. The proportions I feel are better on the T80. The winner for size is the Timex T80. Functions. The functions are simplistic on both these timepieces, but that can be a good thing for most people. Casio and Timex are satisfying the need to tell time at a glance and not much else. The Casio displays the time, the day date, and has an alarm, a 100 second stopwatch with split timer, hourly chime, which you can turn on or off. And the Timex is really quite similar, but the year is also displayed. So. I'm going to give Timex the edge due to the year display, but honestly, <laughs> there are some serious problems with the user should they not know what year it is. So the winner for functions is the T80. User friendliness. Both are extremely easy watches to set, but they just go about it in slightly different ways. The Casio may edge out the Timex just because it has three pushers to get the job done, while the Timex has four. And the pushers actually are much easier to press on the Casio. So user friendliness, the winner, Casio. Legibility. Daytime legibility, the T80 is just fine. It is legible at a glance. It really is only when you compare the two watches side by side that you see the real winner. The Casio is superior due to the gray and black LCD display. The green and black LCD on the Timex T80 is just not as good as on the Casio's. Nighttime legibility, um, there's not a lot of difference with this, but you do have a color difference. The Timex is more of a bluish green indigo backlighting and the Casio has more of a greenish blue illuminator backlighting. I really got to give the winner though to the Casio A168 just because the digital numbers on the Casio are much more clear. So the winner for legibility, the Casio A168. Bracelet. The Casio's bracelet is extremely light and it feels a bit cheap it clacks and clanks but it really does look nice 
The clasp is easy to adjust and it's pretty easy to put on and take off. The Timex bracelet feels really solid. The expander bracelet is the quickest and easiest bracelet you'll ever find uh, to put on and take off. And also it really reflects light quite nicely so it looks especially great outdoors. Now this comparison may not be so much apples to apples because the Timex does come with a similar type bracelet as on this A168 in this video here. But nonetheless, between the two bracelets shown in the video, I think the Timex bracelet has the better construction. So the winner is the Timex T80. Comfortability. The Timex is lightweight, the bracelet doesn't slip around the wrist, and would fit most wrist sizes quite comfortably. The watch just fits like a glove on my six and a half inch wrist. But the Casio surprised me with its extremely comfortable fit. When wearing the A168, it's so easy to forget that you're even wearing the watch. Bravo, Casio. Comfortability, I'm going with the Casio. Price. The Casio A168 is $69 on the Casio website, and the Timex T80 is $59 on the Timex website. So the T80 has the edge on price, but let's be totally honest here. It's possible to purchase the Casio less than $69. Amazon, AliExpress, and eBay are all great places to look. All in all, the winner is the Timex T80 on the price. Final thoughts and overall winner. Initially, I thought the Timex would edge out the Casio. I got the T80 a few days before the A168 and thought, man, this is a killer watch for the price. I mean, it's retro in all ways, a beautiful gold expandable bracelet that is impossible to be any easier to put on and take off. It's legible and the markings on the dial are pretty cool and scream 1980s. I thought no way the Casio could be better. But then the Casio arrived a few days later and it looked great, but for some strange reason, I actually wanted the Timex to be better. I generally root for the underdog, and the Timex had my attention. But the more I wore the two watches, the more I started to side with the Casio. They're both great watches, but at the end of the day, what mattered most to me was telling time at a quick glance and comfortability. I feel the Casio is more comfortable to wear and easier to tell the time. The gray and black numbers on the LCD display is easier to read than the green and black numbers on the Timex. It's not a landslide win, but I gotta go with the A168 being the better watch. Person? Hello, other person. Okay. Uh, which one of these watches do you like better? This one or this one? I like that one. You like this one better? Yes. And, and why? Because of the, the lighted background is green as opposed to the other one. Okay. And you like that better? I do. Okay. Thank you. You're certainly welcome. Hello, person. Hello. So of these two watches, this one yes. here and uh, this one here. Which one do you happen to like better? I would, my inclination is to go with this one here. To go with this one? Yes. Yeah, okay, and and why? Uh, I, I can't, just off the short look I had, that one appeals to me more. Okay. Uh, the other one, I know okay. it has a green face, which I kind of like. Yeah. But uh, something pulled me to the other one. Okay. And I'm not sure what that was. All right, thank you. You're Hey person, which one of these watches do you like better? This one or this one? You like this one better, yes. and why? Uh, it's a little bit more understated, and I like the link band okay. um, with the clasp. I kind of prefer that. Cool, thank you. Hello person, uh, which one of these watches do you like better? Right here is the Casio and this is the uh, Timex. Which one do you like better? I like the Casio. Oh, you like the Casio? Yes. Yeah. Okay. They look, okay. Better. They look All right. better. You look better? And I like the 
the way they like um they look in the top okay all right very cool thank you you're welcome hello person hello uh which watch do you like better I like do you the like casio better. oh you like the casio better than the uh than the timex I and do. and and why i like that the casio is not green on the timepiece um, I okay think it just looks a little cleaner a little sleeker okay cool okay. thanks hello person i want to ask you a question are you ready for the question yes what's the question? okay the question is do you like this watch right here okay or do you like this watch right here? Which one do you like better? Well, this this one? The first one. This one is the Casio. And this, this one is the Timex. Which one do you like better? That one has less green, so I think I like that one better, but they're literally the same. Okay. Hey, thanks for watching that video on these two iconic watches. If you are interested in purchasing them, there are links below and hopefully I've helped you decide. Uh, maybe you agree with me, maybe you don't. However, it's my opinion <laughs> and that's all I can offer. And um, I wanted to encourage you to click the subscribe button down below. Almost at 4,000 subscribers. So I just need a few more to hit that goal. Would you please help out? <laughs> All right. So let's um, wish you a great evening, great night, great morning, whatever time it is. And I'll see you in that next watch review. Bye.